modern day audiences do have a certain expectation when watching period shows. You want to have that romantic vision that you have of that time period. This show is the 1930s, and so the biggest thing that stands out in my mind of the 30s is the hairstyles. Short haircuts, finger waves, curl, a lot of movement. Men generally had some product in their hair. They always looked put together. I mean, at least in the movies. We have a character who is just your girl next door, um, a romantic who hasn't found a date yet, so you don't want her to necessarily look too juicy. But I didn't want her too dark. I brought a few different shades of brown today to see which one complemented her skin tone the best, and we chose sort of a cinnamony. Ilona is the character that is your stereotypical pretty girl who gets a lot of dates and so it may be offensive to some people but that tends to be a blonde. The question is do I ever get pushback on wearing wigs? The answer is I actually more often than not get pushback from actors about not wearing wigs. Your show starts at 7, you rush there in traffic, you're stressed out, you still have to put all your makeup on, the last thing you want to do is start curling and styling your hair, you just don't have time. A lot of people also find that a wig can help them define their character, but the moment you put your costume and your wig on and they see this alter ego and it helps them sort of figure out who their character is. It's just a really cute story and we have an amazing cast.